Hello everyone. This was a video I made upon request. Uh, how to make a WebEx event. So, the, the meaning was a little, um, it was a little ambiguous how to find the uh, WebEx. It said it was in our apps, but when I go to my apps, it doesn't show. So it might be something that they're, they're trying to fix right now. But for now, I would just recommend going to WebEx.com, which is in the URL up, um, right there. Because if you see, I go to my apps. It's not in my apps at all. Um, it's in the web store, and it's added, but it's not in my app. So I would just go to WebEx.com and sign in because you already have an account. Sign into WebEx Meetings. All right, and you just put in your email address. And it should put you in. All right. Now, in order to make an event, so it was a little confusing for me at first. Um, but if you look down here, WE WebEx Events, that's going to take you where you need to go. And then once again, host an event. You can schedule an event. So let me do that one more time. Okay, on your home. Okay, it's going to be right at the bottom. WE. So right there. Oop. Let me fix that. For some reason that wasn't working. So right there. Okay, W E, you're gonna click that button. Okay? And then once you click that, it's gonna take you to events. And then you're gonna go to schedule an event. Right where my the little finger guy is. Okay, I can't see it now, but right there. Schedule an event. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And when I schedule an event, online event, you can have this as an event name, maybe a team meeting, list on your public calendar. I want to delete from my meetings when completed. And then you want to uncheck registration required because your students aren't going to want to, um, aren't going to need to register. You don't want them to register. They can't register. So you want to unclick that. Um, ignore all the other stuff. Start date. Okay, so maybe I want it tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Okay, it's going to be about an hour. Okay, but you can change that. Okay, I think it can goes by the minutes. Yeah, 15, 30, 45 minutes. Typically an hour. Okay, because if you end it quicker than that, it's fine. All right. Click on this check mark right here. Mute upon entry for all participants. That means when they come in, it's going to automatically mute them. So this right here, mute upon entry for all participants. You want to have that, and you also want to have no tone. Okay, so let me let me make that a little bit better. No tone, because if they get um, if they lag out or they leave or and enter if they're if maybe they're having a bad connection and they're leaving entering, if you put on a tone, it's going to be beeping the whole time. So you want to have a no tone. So that way, if they get kicked out and they have to come back in, it doesn't make a tone. And then mutes them when they come in. So that way you don't have a billion people talking at once. And for this video, I'm just going to show you how to schedule the event. Um, this is something that you might want to try with your team and then see how you can mute each other. And um, there are a few other buttons like kids can raise their hands and whatnot. Uh, description, this is how you describe your event. If you want to upload pictures or anything like that, you can do that. Um... I'm just going to keep it everything in the same. I'm really not going to have this. Uh, I guess I will have do not allow attendees to share rich media files. I don't really know what that is, but I don't want them sharing files to each other, so I'll click on that. Um, turn on video. You could have a URL that pops up after, so maybe you want a Google form for them to do. So that's this is where you would put it right here. Okay, and that's about it. You can have reminder emails um, if you want follow-up emails, thank you for attending, that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to go ahead and schedule this event. So when I schedule this event, I could send emails now or send it later. I'm just going to click send later. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this code for um, attendees, and that's what I'm going to be copying and pasting into my Google class. Okay? So that's what I'll do instead of sending out a billion emails. I'd rather just have one link where everyone can go to. Let them know what the password is. If there is one, I don't think there is for this one. And that's it. That's how you do a WebEx event. Please let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.